Hi folks, welcome back to Hoarding Mayhem Roof Repair. There you go. So we got a few um, a few problems. This roof, quite honestly, is really about ripe for repair or for replacement. But um, we're going to try to get another winter out of it. But you can see certain spots here, right, and particularly that, right, where we're taking on water. So I'm going to kind of do some of the roof repair. My son is going to do some of the some of the filming and I'm going to tell you why I'm doing it the way I'm doing it. Once again, what this place needs is a new roof. But given that we're not doing the roof, we're trying to just get through the winter with it. Let me show you what I'm up to. All right. You can take the camera. there now obviously as water comes down here it's going to come down and then it's going to get behind this shingle and then eventually it's going to get into the house for some reason I'm not sure why but they used roofing screws here I'm not quite positive what they're up to I could try to squeeze shingles underneath here but I have a little more luck with flashing, right? It's um, it's a touch bigger than shingle, right? It's like a shingle and a half. But what I like about it is I can work it well under the um, the repair, right? So anything that comes off of here or here is going to continue its path downward. And then even for up here, as I work, work this up and under, Right, so I'm under here, so anything flows, it just keeps going and going and going. A common mistake is if people tar this lower edge, because any water that gets behind the shingles now cannot drain because the lower edge is tarred. So I'm going to, I'm trying to decide if I want to put some, probably I should put some of the, um, the plastic underneath it, like here, just to kind of hold it in place, just in a couple of spots. And then wherever I put the, um, the roofing mastic, if that's where I drive my screws, that'll also work better. So basically, I don't want this um, repair video to go for the next three hours. So what you're going to see is you're going to see us paint well you're not going to see it I'm telling you about it you're, I'm just going to paint some some mastic um, and I'm going to use the word above so it keeps you want everything to drain downward right you don't want to lose your downward here let me let me grab these and see what they're going to do these upper repairs I think I lean here also is to kind of get a get a nice long one up and under and there'll be one upper and then a, a second one cover this whole thing maybe even wrap the edge get some mastic underneath it once again so that this keeps so this keeps flowing downward. So it'll, it'll be kind of like that. And then depending probably under these all the way up until I get in there. So it would slide underneath here. And I'd work that way. 
yeah, you could, you could just tell by the way these shingles are. But so you want to you want to get it above this up that seam. Yeah, so it'll be it'll be something like that. So once again, anything that comes off of here, get it up high enough. So. Just keeps going and going on downhill. You want it, you want to make it so that your downhill is working for you. So other than those two roofing spots where that mushroom is up there, um, there used to be a fan in that, and the wind snapped it right off. That's that's li literally a uh, a washing bowl, you know, for for doing dishes on on the top of the mushroom up there. So. Um, but there is some cracking above it. They, they made the mistake here. I mean, there's not much of a problem with tarring the sides, but you really want to be careful about tarring underneath here. Because any water that comes down, your tarring stops it, it backs up, and it comes into the house. So, a little roofing repair with old Harvey Spooner. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember to keep your feet down, keep your heads up, and get out there and enjoy all your days. Bye now, folks. Yeah.